Hey, it's Brian from the Guitar Factory. Let's break down Dust in the Wind so you can start playing this tune right away. The Kansas song, Dust in the Wind, it's a great one for beginners to start to learn how to do right hand finger picking. And it's one of those songs that sounds a little bit harder than it really is. Today I'll be breaking down exactly how to play all the parts of Dust in the Wind. If you're liking any of my videos, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel, press like, and turn on your alerts so you can see when new videos are coming out. So the very first thing that you really want to get comfortable with when you're starting to play Dust in the Wind is this right hand finger picking pattern. And if you haven't done any finger picking before, this is a great one to start out with uh, as a beginner. This right hand finger picking pattern actually stays the same throughout the entire song. So once you get it comfortable, all you're gonna be doing is switching through particular chord patterns down here, which I'll break down for you. So here is the right hand strumming pattern. We're gonna start with just using a C chord, okay? And to be able to start practicing the strumming pattern, just to loop it over and over once you get it down. So what you're gonna do, step number one, is hold that C chord down the whole entire time. And we want to assign fingers to certain strings. So anytime they come up in the pattern, we know which finger to use. So for any of the low fixed strings, the E, A, or D, I want you to use your thumb for any of those three that come up in the pattern. When you're dealing with the G string, use the index finger. The B string, use your middle. And if we happen to use the high E, we'll use our ring finger. Sometimes there's a variation on that, but that's a very appropriate uh, finger assignment to make sure you're hitting all the strings in the right order to make the song come to life. So the pattern begins with you playing two strings at one time, your thumb on the A string and your middle finger on the B like we assigned them, you're gonna play them together. Okay, the next step is once you play the A and the B strings together, with your thumb, just hit the D string, one single note. After that, you're going to play your index finger on the G string, one note. Okay, so so far you should have the together, middle, A and, A and B, and then your thumb on the D, and then the open G. So you got this so far. Okay, the next two notes are gonna be with your thumb on the A string, all by itself, just one note, and then that B string again with your middle. Okay, not together, but separated. So these two. So here's what you got so far. Together, the D and the G, and then the A and the B. Together again. Okay, and you're almost there with the whole pattern. Two notes left. Together, thumb, index. Okay, the last two notes of this pattern is the D and G again. Thumb and pointer to end the pattern. So here's the whole thing together. Together with the A and the B. The D and the G with the thumb and the pointer. The A and the B separated with the thumb and middle. And then back to the D and G in the middle again. So here's your whole pattern. Now all we have to do is switch some chord patterns down here to start the song to come to life. First chord is the C actually. So when you start that pattern, you're gonna do the C chord one time. Okay. Now the second chord is gonna be called, called the C major seven. And, and as tricky as that might sound, it's actually very easy. You still do the C chord, just get rid of your pointer finger and expose that B string. That's the seventh note of the C scale. That's why they call it the C major seven. And do the pattern. I know that one sounds a little dissonant because it's just all by itself, but in the flow of the song, it sounds correct. Okay, the next chord is gonna be what's called the C add nine. So I'm still keeping my C shape. I don't have my pointer on anymore, but I'm planting my pinky on the B string third fret. Okay, so I've kept my original C shape to start, drop my pinky on the third fret of the B. Same thing with the pattern now with the right hand. And then, 
return back to C. So here's your first line of Dust in the Wind. So you can see the right hand continues to do the exact thing over and over, and I just go through the series of chords. C, C major seven, C add nine, back to C, and that's line one. Let's look at line two. Okay, line two, the right hand still continues doing the same exact pattern, but we're gonna now base our shapes around an A minor chord. We're gonna start with actually what's called an A suspended two, and all that is is, look, think about your A minor chord, just get rid of your pointer finger again, okay? Kind of like we did with the C, and it exposes the B string for that chord. That's why they call it the A suspended two, is that B is the second note of the A scale. So here's your uh, A suspended two. Same pattern. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do what's called an A suspended four, putting our pinky again on that B string third fret. Okay, and then we're gonna go to the real, just A minor. And then end up back at the A suspended two. So your line two just goes A sus two, A four, A minor, Okay, so, so far you should have this. Okay. All right, line three. We're gonna go back to the C chord shape, but we're not gonna start with the same order of those, okay? What we're gonna do is actually start with the C add nine. That's that pinky one on the B string third fret. Same with the same right hand pattern. Back to a C this time. Then a C major seven, that's that same one with the open. And return back to C add nine. So the same chords, just different order. So here's line three, C add nine, C, major seven, back to C at nine. Right hand just keeps on cruising. All right, line number four. What we're gonna do is go back to that A minor shape, and actually what we're gonna do is start this time with the A minor, with the same right hand pattern. A sus two is next. That's the one with the pointer finger off. At A, uh, A suspended four, pinky, and then back to the A minor. Okay, so here's your fourth line. Okay, now that very final A minor in that fourth uh, line of the song, we'd only do half the stub picking pattern, so you're gonna go just half of that pattern and stop there. So here's your whole entire first intro of Dust in the Wind. C, C major seven, C add nine, C. A sus two, A four, A minor, A sus two, C add nine, C, C major seven, C add nine, A minor, A two, A four, half the A minor, okay? And that's gonna lead us into the verse chord. So since you got this down already, this is the bulk of the song. Okay, so right at the end of that intro, we did the A minor just half, and we're gonna do these two chords that lead into the singing part and the verse, first one of the song. It sounds very classical, it goes. And all that is, is I do my A minor with those A and B strings together with my thumb in middle. And this is called the G over B, and all it is is the second fret of your A string and the third fret of your B together. Those two chords actually set up the vocal part. That's part one. Now, we're gonna do the next chord is the G over B again. That's what we just did a moment ago with that classical sounding intro. Same right hand strumming pattern, picking pattern. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the A minor. There's one thing that we're gonna switch with it though. Instead of doing the A and B together, we're gonna do the A and high E. And do the rest of the pattern exactly the same. So you got this so far. High E. And then I want you to just repeat the A minor the way that we learned it in the intro. So here's your first line of the verse. Okay. 
now we're gonna go into the next part of this where you're gonna go to a G chord. Now the only difference is we're gonna use our thumb on the low E and our middle finger on the B. And then continue the rest of the pattern the same. Okay, we just added that low E in because we're doing a G chord to get that sound. So you got a, a C, G over B. There's that A minor, G. Okay, now we're gonna do a D minor. Now that pattern is identical for the D minor. The only thing is, where we did it before, I just shifted everything down one. Get together, the, the G and B, and the D and the high E. So the pattern is the same, you just drop strings on that. And at the end of that, you're gonna do that A minor again, including the high E. Okay, so there's your verse. Let's look at the chorus. Okay, so for the chorus, we're gonna start with a really cool chord. It's called a D slash F sharp. Okay, that's an inversion where you're doing a D chord, but the F sharp is in the bass. So we're gonna do a D chord, but with just uh, these two fingers, second fret of the G string, third fret of the B, and we're gonna put our index on the low E second fret. So low E, G is second fret, third fret B string. And we're gonna do that same strumming picking pattern, but we're gonna use the uh, low E in the mix. And then our G comes back with that same low E in the pattern. So you got. Okay, once you complete that, you're gonna go back to the A minor again. Twice. Okay, so you got this for the chorus. And that's your chorus. So when you put all the pieces together, you have your intro four lines as you're singing or playing your verses. You'll have the two lines of the C and G over B to A minor. And then when you get to your chorus, you're just gonna be putting in that D over F sharp, G to A minor. And when you put those parts together, you can start to hear dust in the wind and start to play it right away. Like I said, it's one of those songs that sounds a little harder than it is because of that right hand pattern. So I really suggest just repeating that right hand pattern as much as possible so that it becomes second nature like breathing. And then you can switch in and out of chords to have that song really come to life. Also, it's a great strumming uh, picking pattern to uh, put into any of your own songs you wanna kinda write. It's a great pattern to sit back and play any chord with that pattern. So have some fun with Dust in the Wind. Have any questions, please add them in the comments below. And check out again our full guitar course at theguitarfactoryoc.com. And uh, you can be able to follow an entire uh, course from beginner all the way through intermediate. Thanks for watching.